Hey guys, uh, today when I got up this morning, you know, uh, brought some YouTube on my phone, I went to go get some coffee, you know, the usual, and uh, fucking I was very surprised at the commercial that came on. In fact, I was kind of mortified, I was glad that no one else was uh, in the room at the time, because um, I'm, I'm a loner, please help me. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so um, I just really can't believe this is a commercial that's on, just randomly on YouTube. I don't know if fucking somehow this is like suggested content or something that I think I'd be interested in this. But uh it's a great product. It's from LG. It's uh the LG hanger. And uh you know I just uh, I'm just gonna roll this piece of shit commercial for you so enjoy. Gotta yeah, love it. Right away they have that upbeat music. It's like got the guy with a pen. It's like gonna be like a draw your life type of thing. So uh, can't wait to see what they're gonna what they're trying to sell me here, guys. Self-confidence. Some men have it, others want it. Okay, I think I think I see where this is going. The guy's talking about self-confidence. And uh you know, disregarding him looking at his crotch, you know, this is probably self-help. It has nothing to do with penis enlargement or anything, you know? And uh, honestly, the lady's not even looking at him, so I don't think it's self-confidence. Maybe he's just, like, not interesting, like, ugly motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I don't know what uh, confidence has to do. When a girl looks at a guy, she doesn't go, look at that guy. He's got a lot of confidence. He, he must have a really big confidence, you know? But uh, anyway, let's uh, get back to this piece of shit. LG Hanger can help you get it. The LG Hanger is a vacuum-based male enhancement product that targets the tunica albuginea, a very thick band of connective tissue composed of collagen and elastic fibers, which allows your penis to expand and contract. Okay, I like the sound of that vacuum-based male enhancement. Why are they drawing everything, though? Like, that's, that's cool, besides the fact that it's a male enhancement. Why is everything with doodles? I mean, they're, like, going to try to prove some like high-tech science -y, stretch your penis stuff out with the vacuum type shit, right? So why is all the doodles? Like maybe some colors or something so you can kind of illustrate shit. But no, no colors or nothing. If you guys don't have colors, I can't read it. I mean, you guys are doing good because you're using pictures. I like pictures better than words, obviously. But uh, we're, I need some colors, guys. Come on. Let's kick up the budget a little bit collagen and elastic fibers, which allows your penis to expand and contract. In order for your penis to grow larger, you must overcome the structural bonds of this collagen. Traction, when applied consistently along the length and diameter of the penis, causes the collagen to separate and remodel to a larger size. Okay, okay, so I just learned the collagen in your penis is oppressive and you need to you know, break the bonds of that oppressive collagen, and then you're remodeling the walls of your penis. It's kind of like, I guess, like when you remodel a house, you gotta like fucking break the walls down and make a bigger wall. I guess like the collagen's the wall, and the penis is getting bigger instead of the house. I, you know, I, I don't really like that analogy. It's kind of shitty. The LG Hanger system is basically a traction device that uses a unique, custom-made vacuum chamber. Yo, what the fuck is that thing? Looks like we're gonna do some deep sea diving in that and shit. It needs like a little, little port window. It looks like one of those original, like submergible submarines and shit. They went into like the Marianas Trench with and shit. What the, what the fuck? There's no way I'm printing that on my penis. Fucking could people pay for that shit? You could pay me. The fuck? It was designed and has been tested to hang up to 25 pounds. Most other devices sold today only achieve approximately 5 pounds. Since major gains start to occur at about 8 to 10 pounds, it only makes sense to invest in a system that can get you where you want to go. Okay, so they're like throwing some key words at you and shit, some like, some buzzwords. Uh, you can get some major gains, you know. Gonna get some uh, some gains in my cock, guys. All right, so this is this is what it is. Basically, it says the normal one can only hold five pounds, and uh, this one can hold twenty-five pounds. So it's like CrossFit versus uh, powerlifting, I guess. It's like 
Yo, five pounds? What is that? An oversized clit? That's not a penis. Fucking bitch. Fucking my King Kong cock here. I'm almost up to 25 pounds. Yeah. They're going to have to make a new fucking pump for my cock. Like, what? Dude, who even thinks of... All right, if anyone's worked out before does have work you know uh weight plates at their house or some shit please pick up a 25 pound plate and, and tell me if that's something you wanted to hang on to your penis because this is not so that is not uh not a good time i wouldn't consider that a fun experience i and i like freaking out and stuff that's cool and i would definitely not why would you hang and wait though? I mean, imagine if you had an injury to the penis, like doing that. Like I've, I've injured myself, you know, I do uh, you know, deadlifts and shit like that where I work out and shit. So, uh, okay. What, what kind of injury would you sustain from over, overworking the penis? You know, it's like, and how would that be if it go down going to like an urgent care or some shit? Like fuck. <laughs> yeah, doc. Uh, it's pretty bad looking. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going for a new PR. My, my last week I fucking did 22 pounds. This week I was going for a solid 23. I ripped that bad boy right off. I put it in ice. Can you save it? <laughs> what the fuck? That's so bad. I would, I would never put my cock in that. What the fuck? The LG hanger system is comfortable and effective because each chamber is custom machined using the customer's measurements to ensure a perfect fit. <laughs> fucking, fuck, fucking hell! It gets more awkward. So, not only is it weird enough that you're putting this fucking mechanical submergible fucking thing on your cock, right? You're also having to call this company because it's custom, so they have to know your your phallus size. So you gotta tell them, you know, it's your you're you're getting this thing because you have a small penis. Obviously, you wouldn't be purchasing this if you had a fucking foot long. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you're gonna call the person, tell them it's uh, you know, uh, uh, hello, yeah, my my penis size, uh, it's uh, is it width or length? Which do you want first? Cause it, it's it's a two by five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two inches long, five inches wide. Yeah, it, it it's hard to even get it in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> it's how would you even make? You know, I I have too many questions, and I don't even want to think of the answers. I'm kind of grossed out. So you know what? I'm I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, I, the other thing I was shocked about is they said it was uh, comforting, like it was, or it was comfortable. Uh, how is that comfortable? We've already went over the fact that you're attaching heavy weights to your penis. It, even if it's you know the same molded to the size of your penis, you're still stretching it with heavy weights. So I don't, I believe that's not comfortable. I mean, if that felt good, I think we'd be hanging with fucking people for hundreds of years be hanging shit off their penis and it'd be more popular fucking people be walking around with weights hanging off their penis you know this is a comfortable thing <laughs> and, it, and the reason why people aren't doing it because it's not and it's fucking bizarre the system is easy to use simply attach the system chamber using the silicone sleeve secure the sleeve with the velcro strap apply vacuum and attach the weight okay so essentially um, you're putting this fucking big metal thing onto your cock with a silicone tube, then you're velcroing it tight, you're then pumping all the air out of it, and then attaching weight to do fucking, I guess, uh, fucking Wing Chun or Wang Chong fucking deadlifts or whatever. Fucking, you're gonna be lifting the weight off the ground when you're using your penis, I guess, do like sumo cock lifts. I don't know. Fucking <laughs> sumo cock deadlifts. I, this is fucking ridiculous. I can't believe this is. Where the, is this supposed to be like mainstream now too? It's on fucking commercials for YouTube. Fuck. I mean, uh, how is this even like a commercial? Like they always have like age restricted shit. I see like the stupidest shit age restricted, and then I just literally watch the commercial where they're teaching me how to hang wakes off my cock with custom made cock uh, fucking suction thing. I mean, fucking, dude, this is fucking stupid. I really, I, I've, I can't believe it's, I saw this early in the morning too, so I just really can't believe the shit still. Fuck me. Find out how. Okay, I'm just going to skip past all the find out how you can stroke my cock. But, uh, okay, so that's the, 
That's it. The guy after, um, I guess, weeks of hanging weights off his penis, finally feels like he's comfortable now. You know, he's got, you know, some confidence. They go ask out some blonde girl because uh, I'm sure that's exactly what women think too. They're not worried about you know, uh, you know, having a job or anything that how your your face looks or anything. You know, really totally worried about cock size. And actually, women can actually tell you have a huge cock just by as soon as you go hello. So before you even talk to a girl, you better get this shit and make her dick bigger or else you're never going to get any poo tang. Like, look, this guy, when he first saw the girl, let's, let's be honest, no chance because he had a small penis, right? No, thank God for LG. They made some wonderful shit. Now they made the penis hanger. Now this guy is, can fucking go get some vagina. He doesn't have to go, you know, date some ugly girl or pay for sex. No. Well, I mean, he's still going to pay for it. He's going to take her out somewhere. But, you know, it, it's a little bit less up front, I guess, doing it this way. Honestly, it would probably been be easier just to do that. Or, you know what I, I would recommend? If you really need your confidence boosted, you don't you don't really need a hanger to hang your penis. What you do is, is you, um, you have sex with ugly girls, like the nerdy ones and shit that no one else likes. And if you, your penis could be as big as your fucking, it could be a toothpick, you know what I'm saying? Like, she could look at it and be like, what is that, vanilla Tootsie Roll, you know? And, and she's still going to she's gonna like it and have a good time with it because she's not going to really get cocked too often. And that will boost your confidence right there. You know, you just all you need to do is just, you know, uh, low-hanging fruit is uh, the moral of the story. No need to waste any money. Just use the money you would use for the cock pump to take out the ugly girls. You see what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> the thing about low-hanging fruit is you don't want to get stuck with any of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to knock any of that up. So, yeah. Um, so I hope you learned something. I hope you liked this video. I, th I think you just learned how to uh, boost your confidence, and it's basically for free. You didn't need to fucking attach this weird thing onto your, your fucking, your junk, and, uh, <laughs> I still can't get over that, fucking, I'm gonna, it literally looks like a fucking, like, a submersible that you would look, do, use, like, for underwater, like, surveying and shit, like, this is fucking ridiculous, uh, YouTube, fucking, please take this off the commercials, it's fucking disgusting, one like and it'll help take this off the YouTube fucking ads <laughs> cycle, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, support the channel. I hope you like the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, have a good day. <laughs> Deuce.